Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Tuesday the 30th of June 2020. So yesterday, bond stocks, dollar and gold all bid as COVID chaos continues. And yes, it certainly uh, created uh, some chaos during the last few months, which I'm going to get into uh, in just a moment. But let's start off by looking at uh, the daily chart of the German DAX. The focus in this Market Alert is going to be the German DAX. I'm not going to uh, bother with the uh, Dow Jones uh, in this particular episode. So in the daily chart uh, we can see that uh, prices are stuck in a trading range. They've spiked out uh, to the upside here to 78% from this high to this low and then have become range bound. They're currently back above the 200 bar moving average uh, and also the 5 bar which you can see uh, there with the maroon and then the 20 bar moving average is still uh, adding resistance uh, to this market at the moment. So the market sideways, uh, very choppy in the daily chart there. But let's have a look at uh, yesterday. So in the morning, we see uh, the market uh, just uh, moving to the upside from 8 o'clock, which is the white zone. And prior to this, uh, prices had turned green in the uh, pre-market in the electronic market that uh, particularly 7 a.m. you will start to see activity in the uh, German DAX and you can see the volume picking up here and you, again you can see the battle you can see the buying inside of the red bars as uh, the uh, big money comes into the market and starts to buy it so here you will have had the signal and let me show you how to place this on the trade if you go into uh, indicator indicator settings and then uh, remove the check mark from hide indicators outside of primary times and then come down and click on apply you will see the signal appear now the reason i'm showing you this is because obviously at this point the market is showing green uh, we've got prices uh, moving to the upside as well from the 7 a.m uh, trading period Price is closing above the 5 bar moving average. They hit the 200 bar moving average, which is a major resistance area. And we can see this uh, by the uh, colored bars here. We've got the red inside of the green, which is an indication of potential weakness. We've also got uh, the psychological level there as well at 12,050, which is the blue line. So prices uh, break through this just prior to uh, the uh, market uh, opening. And again, we've got a bit more weakness there that comes back. And what I'm looking at uh, when the market opens is to see how, what's happened in the pre-market and how I can use this information. If I, I'm not going to get a signal because I already have the bars green, uh, then uh, without them turning back to red and then back to green. So in this situation, this is what you can do. You can come up and manually place the trade from uh, markup which is just out of view here. Let me just bring this down so you can see it. So by left clicking on markup and then trade markup and then clicking on this and then just placing this above and then this brings you into the trade. So from here as the market moves higher and drives through the first profit target and then eventually closes below the five bar moving average. Also up here if you wanted to take profits as uh, the the main players take profits. I know they're taking profits here because I've got selling pressure. I can see that the volume in this bar is greater than the previous bar and the range is narrower. So there's nothing wrong with pulling the profits off the table at this point as well. But that's how to actually overcome and decide which direction the market is likely to go when you have a pre-market where the signal will have already been um, indicated as in this uh, case. Then we see uh, prices uh, move lower. Uh, there's no signal here. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And then prices moved back and we do get uh, the signal here. And I covered this trade yesterday live. And uh, what I would say to you is uh, this. If you go to the website now, um, So in the Omni Predictor, if you come to Tutorials, then to Trading Videos, and then scroll down here, you will see uh, 
click to view my live trading examples. I will put a, a direct link in the email um, and then you'll see these examples in here. And this is the one yesterday. I actually rec uh, recorded that live and uh, some more examples in there as well on handling the trades and managing the trades. So uh, yesterday I covered this one, so I'm not going to uh, go over this. It's actually on the website in detail. But I've had a few emails about uh, I'm not getting uh, signals um, and that's because of the restrictions that we've had in place. Now, back in February when the COVID kicked off, uh, the volatility changed in the market uh, considerably. I mean, I've never seen anything like it uh, to the point that the spread betting companies actually widened the spreads from one point on the DAX to eight and to then to 15 points, which made it untradeable in this situation. Fortunately, we're back to a bit more sensible uh, spreads, but the volatility isn't quite settled yet. And it's uh, an absolute pain when you're trading volatility to get the settings just right. So what I'm going to do is to show you in particular in this situation here and the afternoon session where I had a couple of emails saying, well, I didn't get any uh, signals for the downside there and in particular the move to the upside. So let me show you why this is the case. If you come to trade markup inside of the uh, indicator settings, so again, you click on indicators and then trade markup. And inside of here, you will see restrict the markup based upon the bar size. So depending on the price bar size, we have restrictions. So that, um, and then the reason for this is quite simple. When we have markets that are really quiet, you don't want every signal because the range of the bars, the lack of um, uh, volatility and momentum, you will end up with uh, more losing trades than you want to, to actually be involved in or to actually take. So that's the reason for this. But the volatility is changing uh, at this point in time. So until I've established uh, how this is actually changing, and I'll just show you what I'm doing at the moment, uh, you will see inside of uh, this spreadsheet, and I'll just move forward. This is the graph. Um, but at the moment, I'm analyzing the data and uh, working out uh, the best levels for the uh, volatility. However, until this point uh, has been achieved, uh, you can come into uh, the settings here. if you want more trades, then feel uh, free to actually come in here and remove the uh, check mark there that says restrict my uh, markup based upon bar size. This will remove this completely and then you'll have to come down and left click on apply and you will see the signals appear for yesterday. So there's the sell and there's the buy. And the reason for this uh, big move yesterday, by the way, is uh, this uh, US uh, pending home sales exploded to the upside and also uh, the small caps uh, lead. And this is the interesting bit, sudden buying panic. So I thought, well, why on earth is this market uh, uh, moving like it's moving without even closing below the five bar moving averages? We had one close here and then it never closed until up here. So obviously it was a, an excellent trade. Uh, you don't get too many of these, as you've seen, because uh, that's not how the markets work. But yesterday, and it being a holiday week, you will see uh, a lot more of these sort of moves. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know whether it's the euphoria of having a day off in the US or what, but uh, it's the way it seems to uh, to be. So uh, what I'm just going to do now is just remove the, uh, apply the check mark back there, because then you'll see all these other signals disappear. Oh, actually, let me just put this back. Um, because I'll show you there's a, a, a good visual here of what I mean about having the price bars uh, restricted. So you'll see the, the this is the overnight, of course, and as the market narrows, uh, you will see a lot more of these uh, black dots, which basically are saying that uh, the market didn't make it to the scalp. The, the entry price was filled, but the market didn't trade to the first target price. I mean, you can see a lot did, but uh, the majority went because there's nobody trading on the overnight. And here you can see the uh, early morning boys uh, already getting in with uh, a quick sell to the downside. It's 10 minutes to seven as I record this. So the futures uh, market is busy. You can see them buying back in as well, how prices have moved there. So that's uh, the advice is if you want more 
signals, then uh, you have to remove the strict markup uh, based on the bar size. And however, if you do this, then there is the prospect. If the market goes sideways, you will get signals that will not, so that they'll be filled, but not actually make it to the um, first profit target and beyond. So just be aware of that. Okay, that's uh, going to be it for this market. Like I say, if you want to see the trades in depth, uh, then go to uh, the website, uh, wherever it's gone. Um, here we go. And have a look at the examples there. I'll keep adding them as uh, we go forward as well. So there's a good uh, catalogue of uh, how to uh, enter the trade, manage the trade, and what to look out for in the trade as well. I've also got some other videos lined up with regards to Fibonacci and also the coloured bars inside of uh, the red and green as well a bit more in depth on that i've been asked about that as well so i'll do that for you okay that's it uh, for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one